When it comes to company power, it's important that you establish your power relative to one of two business architectures. That will determine your competitive set, who you compete against and who you would potentially partner with. The two business architectures are called the complex systems model and the volume operations model. Each one has a sweet spot, a place where they are most successful. But you can see from the diagram that you can stretch either model into the other's territory a bit, but when you do, they become less effective. So the complex systems model is designed to work with large enterprises as customers. They might be governments, they might be businesses, they're typically large institutions. Companies in the complex systems business models typically have hundreds, maybe thousands of customers, but probably not more than that. And they charge these customers hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars or tens of millions of dollars per year. So a billion dollar business in a complex systems model might be a thousand companies paying you a million dollars a year. The other model is called the volume operations model, and it's more familiar to people as a consumer model. As you can see from this list of attributes, whether you're talking about research, design, manufacturing, marketing, sales, services, the complex systems model and the volume operations model play out very, very differently. So look at research. If you're in a complex systems business, you're interviewing customers one at a time. It's a qualitative dialogue. You're trying to get deep into issues. You tell stories and anecdotes. That's not how the consumer model works at all. Consumer model has to be statistically, quantitatively significant. And particularly now on the web, you're going to do an enormous amount of quantitative analysis in order to come up with your new ideas. When you put those ideas into a design, in a complex systems model, no two customers ever get the same thing. You're always assembling various components into a unique system for that company. Whereas in the volume ops model, every customer gets the same thing and you want highly standalone product orientation. And that goes to the manufacturing, where, where you have adaptive methodologies for the complex system, but very deterministic processes for the, for the volume operations. If you've ever seen a film of a Coke bottling plant, you realize every Coke bottle gets bottled just the same as every other Coke bottle. Now, when you go to the marketing side of the house, whether you're looking at the marketing or the sales or the service, again, very different. Marketing in the complex systems model is called relationship marketing, whereas in the consumer model, it's called branding and promotion. These are very, very different models, and often marketing executives get confused or other executives get confused because they apply the wrong model in the wrong context. Sales forces, you have very high-touch, persuasion-oriented dialogues in a consultative sales force with a complex systems model, but you have very low-touch kind of transactional models for the consumer model. And the same thing goes for services. The services in a complex systems model, they're very open-ended dialogues. You're trying to discover new needs. You're going to potentially bid new projects. Whereas in the consumer model, they're very closed-loop transactions. You're trying to solve a question and get off the phone or get off the web or where it's going. As you can see, these are two very different ways of acting. And so think of them as two hands, your right hand and your left hand. And you have to decide as a corporation, are we right-handed or left-handed? Now, that doesn't mean you have to be an amputee. You're going to still keep your other hand, but you've got to decide which is the stronger hand. So are you going to play the complex systems hand and play in the enterprise world and then do your best in the volume operations or the other way around? Are you going to be lead with your volume operations capability and then play a second supporting role with your complex systems? That's critical to company power. You cannot be confused about that choice.